You wanted to see me? I thought you wanted to see me. I wanted to see you both. Lois, is this about implementing your request with Sheila? It's about retracting my request with Sheila. What happened? I, th I thought... Nothing happened. I hired Mike Ross back at the firm. What? If Sheila and I are meant to be, we'll make that work. But Mike was going to do something that I could not let him do. So I'm using my reward on him. Okay, Louis, I... It's I, a great choice. I'm proud of you. Why don't you give me a minute with Jessica and see if we can't get him an office. Thank you, Harvey. Thank you both. Is that it? I'd still like to be able to take Rosh Hashanah off, if that's okay. I think we can work something out. No way. Jessica. Mike Ross is not coming back to this firm. You heard Lewis. He already gave him the job. He can ungive him the job. It's too late for that, and you know it. Well, it damn sure didn't help when you jumped on in there and told him it was a great choice. It was a great choice, and if I hadn't jumped in and let you speak your mind, you know what he would have heard? Something's wrong with Mike Ross. You don't know that. Yes, I do, and so do you. This is Lewis we're talking about. And you rejected his first request. Because it was unreasonable. And the only way you're going to convince him that this is unreasonable is to tell him why. Harvey? Jessica, the only way to make him take that offer back is to force him to do it because he's going to ask you why again and again. And no matter what you say, he's going to know you're full of shit. And then, how long do you think it's going to take him to remember that last year he wondered if Mike even went to Harvard? You could at least pretend to hide how happy you are. I may be happy about it, but you know I'm right. And the truth is, I never should have let him go in the first place. You look a lot better than the last time I saw you. Oh, didn't you hear? I got a new job. Oh, I heard. What are you getting at there, Harvey? What am I getting at? Lewis hires you, you don't run it by me, you don't even tell me it's happening. All I am anymore to you is a clean set of sheets. Speaking of which, you might want to up the thread count and run it by you? You were practically begging me to come back yesterday. I didn't beg shit. I posited a theory. We both knew it was never going to happen. I was just trying to make you feel better. Well, I guess it took Lewis to do what you couldn't do. Hire an unqualified fraud? I did that already. Seriously, Mike, it's good to have things back to normal. Yeah, normal. Mike, I'm going to say something to you that I have never told you before. I admire what you have with Rachel. Harvey. Well, let me finish. It's real. It's hard to come by, and all you have to do to keep it is forgive her. So if you want to stay here tonight, by all means, but I think you should go home. Where are you going? I have to take care of something I should have days ago. Harvey, you wanted to see me? Yes. I wanted you to take a look at a draft of the paperwork to wrap up your deal. Why would you? Because I wanted to let you know how things are going to be moving forward. You're going to sign these papers at 8 AM tomorrow. And at 8.01, you're gone. Harvey? Look, I don't give a shit how much business you give my firm. I never want to see you again. You're really going to drop me? You're damn right I am. And if you go to Jessica to try to overrule me, the next time, it won't be Mike you get in a fight with. It'll be me.